Hello everyone. Uh, this is test three module two. Okay, so today we're gonna do even numbered questions. Okay. All right. This is number two. Uh, we have exponential graph and expressed in this form y equals a times b to the x. How to find the value of b? What is the b of b? Exponential expression always what increase of geometric right geometric progression is yes, okay geometric is you can find you can choose by some lattice point when t equals zero that is a three the next number is a six and the next number is a twelve so what happens between these three numbers times two times two right this is common ratio which is the value of b okay so choice b is the answer Okay, and also you can substitute some coordinate lattice point. When x equals zero, maybe you can use okay. When x equals zero, y equals three, right? So when x equals zero, y equals three. Three equals a times b to the zero, right? So that is a. A equals three, so you got to a y equals three to do a b to the x. After that, we choose another point. I'm going to choose this point. It's okay. So when x is one y is 3 okay put this number there y is 3 when x is 1 3 times b to the 1 i'm sorry that is y is 6 okay my apologies so 6 equals 3 times b and b equals 2 right you can solve this way too but this is a better shortcut right yeah the number 4 here a train is accelerating a constant rate Along the way, straight three. The equation this one: distance equals twenty and t square. Okay. Yeah, that is accelerate constant rate. That's right. Okay. All right. When you take away derivatives, that is a forty t, right? At constant rate. It doesn't matter. Okay. Just we use the equation. Okay. After five seconds, how many feet the train? Traveled okay after five t equals to five. It's very simple, right? So 20 times five squared is 25 is 500. Okay, All right, move on to the next number six. 3a plus 6b is 15. We have a two variable one equation. Okay, using this one, you're gonna find the 7a plus 14b. Okay, so in this case, two variable with one equation, we have to use all this given. Okay, only one given there. So how can you find 7a plus 14 from here? Because we don't know right, the value of a and b. It can be any real numbers to satisfy 15. So the best way is you can take up 3 of them, okay? a plus 2b equals 15. So inside, a plus 2b equals to 5. Okay? So take a over here. 7a plus 14b, 7 is common, a plus 2b. But in this case, we can find a plus 2b equals to 5 over here, right? So 7 times 5 is 35 is this, okay? Here is number 8. Which expression is equivalent to this? Equivalent, it doesn't have to be simplified form, right? So com complete square looks like this one. 4y is a common, right? So y squared minus 1, isn't it? So that is equals to y1 is y plus 1 and y minus 1. This is a complete Factor, okay, but we don't have this one, right? So we have to find the right equivalent. It's gonna have right when you expand the right, everything is gonna be equal. Okay, which one is equal to this one? Four move inside this one, right? Two, 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 two. Divide over here. Two distribute over here. Another two over here, right? So y times two times y equal two y plus two, and two times y equal. I'm gonna. This looks like division, right? So times two, two, right? So 2y minus 2, that is equivalent, okay? It doesn't have to be a complete vector, okay? Here is the number 10. So we have two graphs there, okay? Okay, these two graphs is actually what? One solution there. How it looks like? This is the graph looks like this. And this is what? One solution must be passed right this way, right? Because y equals k is uh, horizontal graph, okay, constant function, right? This is y equals k. You should be equals 49, that's right? Yeah, this is a very simple questions, okay?
Uh, here is number 12. Here is number 12 of here. We change right the input. input. We said right change of input. But remember, right, this x, this x totally different. Okay. Actually, the whole thing is replaced with the x. That's the meaning, okay? So, replaced with the x, maybe you can check it out. This one actually, the value of right, uh, x, replaced with some value of what? In terms of x. How can you find the x of here? When you prove here, x plus 2, right? When you substitute, put this one in the x. So, x plus 2 minus 2 is the f of x. So, replace of here, 5 x plus 2, right? That is equals to f of x. So f of x equals to actually 5x plus 10 and uh, minus 10. Let me see. This is, okay. Anyway, they just write expressed, okay? So f of x equals 5x plus 2 and minus 10, right? Yeah, that's the answer. Or to avoid the confusion, all right? Maybe I'm going to explain this in the other way, okay? To express the confusion of here, we change the variable of here, okay? I'm going to use this, original. You can use uh, any letter, right? I'm going to use K. K minus 2 equals 5, K minus 10. That is original, okay? Just change the variable in original, okay? After that, we replace K minus 2 replace with the X, okay? So if you use uh, X minus 2 replace X, or you confuse, right? Okay. So this is okay. So what is it? The value of k equals x plus 2, isn't it? Put this number into there. So k is x plus 2, f over what? x plus 2 minus 2 is f of x. But this is k replaced with the x again, 5 by x plus 2 minus 10, right? Okay, you can solve this way. Here is number 14. What is the sum of solutions to the given equation? Okay. This is 2x squared minus 10x and minus 5 equals 0. If you can use right be a test formula, right? Sum of product and the sum and the uh, sum of the root and the product of the root. In this case, of cos ready, okay? Sum of root is what negative b over a. Okay? Product of the root is what c over a. Isn't it? So you remember this, right? This is a be a test formula. But this one is always what negative b over a, okay? So second leading coefficient over leading coefficient. Product is a little bit different. In the quadrate, that is a positive degree 3, negative degree 4, positive again, always alternating sign, okay? But in this case, quadratic is always positive c over a, okay? So sum of root, r1 plus r2 should be a is 2, b is negative 10, c is a negative 5, okay? We need these two numbers, okay? So negative, negative 10 over 2 equals what? 5 is this, okay? Or you can use your quadratic formula, right? If you don't remember this beta formula, okay? Find out quadratic formula, what is it? x equals, what is it? Negative b, right? 10 plus minus square root. 10 squared is 100 minus 4 times 2 times negative 5 over 2 times a is 4. So you can see that one of the uh, root is a 10 plus square root. Uh, I'm going to apply this one. This is 840, right? So 140. And negative 8 times negative 5, positive 40. 140 over 4, that's the first one. Second one is what? Minus, okay? That is the conjugate. One is plus, the other is minus. That is 140 over 4, right? But when you add this one, this is cancelled out. So you got what? 10 plus 10 over 4 is 20 over 4 is 5. Okay, you can solve this way too. Okay? But that's the formula, right? Because you know that x equals to negative b, 1 is a plus. This is what? D, I'm going to write discriminant, okay? Over 2a. Uh, the other one is, I'm going to do this one, sum of the root. What is the plus? The other one is negative b minus rep d over 2a, right? When you this one, 2a over, this is cancelled out, negative b, negative b is what? Some is negative 2b, that's what already negative b over a, right? That's the formula, okay? Use this formula, okay? Anyway, you don't need any work.
Here is number 16. Okay, this is uh, the last time it was right 64. That is error, okay? I uh, fixed it. 9 red 3. That is the length of diagonal. What is the length of a diagonal of, uh, um, of cube? A cube is you can use right a side, okay? They are all equal right side, okay? So length of a diagonal equals what is it? S square plus S square plus S square, isn't it? That is 3 S square equals y, S red 3, okay? That is equals to 9 red 3. So canceled out one side is 9. This is 9, 9, 9, okay? The value of this one is what? S cube, right? 9 cube equals uh, 729 is the answer, okay? Choice D is the answer. Uh, the next number is 18. Okay, it has infinite solution. The infinite solution is uh, the lines is overlap, coincident. The line L equals the line N. So many intersections, right? In this case, we set infinite solutions. To make it the same equal, how can you? Okay, times 3, right? How much? 15x minus 6y equals 54. It's the same thing, but it's the same of this one, okay? So A is 15, B is what? Negative 6, okay? So sum of this number is 9 is the answer. Here is number 20. This is very simple, like uh, average, I think. We have two groups, okay? One group has uh, average, mean is uh, average value, okay? So 25, that's 60 animals. Total is how much? 60 times 25. So second one is 40 animals, the average is 45. That is the sum of all their weight, okay? Of 100 animals, okay? 60 plus 40 is 100. When you divide 100, that is what? Combined average, okay? Okay, uh, we're gonna find the average, okay? Combine this one. How much? This is 1,500, this is 1,800, 3,300 over 100, right? Yeah, cancel it out, 33 is the answer, okay? Here is number 22, two variable x and y, and related such that uh, one increase, if one increased, from here to here, the next number should be what? Times the factor of three, okay? That is not constant. Times the factor means what? Times three. The next number, times three again. This number times three again, right? Times three geometry, right? Common race is what? Three, you know? That is geometric progression, okay? Be careful, that is not linear, okay? So geometry is what? Factor with this one. It looks like this. Y equals 8 times 3 to the x. That's the expression for the what? Exponential function, okay? When x equals 0, y is 50. When x equals 0, y is 50. A equals 50, right? Okay. So actually, the expression y equals 50 times 3 to the x. Okay. That's the equation, right? So at this time, when x is 4, what is the value of y? y equals times 50. 3 to the 4, right? 3 to the 4 is how much? 81, okay? 81 times 50 is what? 4,050 is the answer. All right, here is number 24 here, okay? That's better. Oops. Okay. That's is better, okay? All right, we have a tables. So we're gonna find that what's, what something happens between median and mean and their standard deviation. When you take a look over here, maybe you can find the median, right? Median with middle number. But when you take a look over here, this is eight, five, five, same number, three, three, same number, one, one, same number, same frequency. So this number is actually in the middle, right? So median is 25. Take the other side. This also what? 3, 4, 5. 3, 4, 5. Same distance. So this number in the, in the middle, right? So the value of this one. That is their value is a median, okay? That is frequency, okay? We have two students that have what, 25 value, okay? Yeah, same mean, okay? This is fine. The next one, median. A mean is what is that? It's the middle, right? 
Eject in the middle, same distance, OC equals what? Median equals mean, right? Yeah. This is true too. What about their standard deviation? This is standard deviation is what? Spreadity, okay? Oh, this is a close look at this. But this one looks like what this one? A lot, right? Are you okay with this? Maybe it looks like this one. More spread out. Okay, because this is what? Five is what? From here to 15, that is a 15 difference. Five students, right? Each one is 15 times five is 75 away from the mean. But this is the only one. 15 times the only one. 15 away from the mean, right? Yeah, this is what? Small standard deviation. This is the largest standard deviation, okay? The standard deviation is uh, B is greater than data set A, okay? So that is wrong. They're not equal. So one and two only the answer. Okay, the last question is number 26. Here we go. So we have a system of equations. This is constant, right? Had no solutions. You know the graph over this one, right? Looks like this because the leading coefficient is positive. The graph is open of world. So no solution is the y equals over here. They don't have, they don't have any x, uh, any intersections. Maybe you better use the uh, discriminant, okay? If discriminant is less than zero, no solutions. No solution means what? There's no intersection, right? No solution. That means what? No intersection, okay? So x squared minus 8x plus 11 equals c to minus c equals zero. That is a quadratic standard form, okay? So from here, a equals 2, or b equals negative 8, c equals y, 11 minus c. So what is this criminal? b squared. Negative a squared is 64 times, 4 times a is 2, and c is 11 minus c, okay? It must be less than 0, okay? So I'll solve this one. 48, 8 times 11 is 88, 8 times C is what? 8 plus HC is less than 0, okay? AC is less than what is that? This is what? Negative 24, eh? So move to the right, part to 24. C must be less than 3, okay? So, they are not working, okay? Only 2 is less than 3, okay? Yeah, that's your uh, test 3, module 2, okay? We can continue test for next time, okay?